Rise and Shine East Texas. You're watching KETK Today. Welcome back in everyone here as a look at Tyler right now with our sky view camera brought to you by cables roofing. We're off to a quiet start this morning. It is a lot warmer than yesterday, but still chilly out there overall 39 degrees. The current temperature and we've got a wind at nine miles per hour, so we do have a light breeze for us right now. And as we take a look at temperatures around the Arklatex, we are sitting out mainly in the upper 30s with a few 40s surrounding our area. And then you have to go farther west to get those 20s this morning. You have to go to Lubbock and uh, San Angelo to get those temperatures right at 27 degrees. That's where the coldest area is right now. Warmest spot is Houston down to 45 degrees, about the same temperature there as yesterday. Now forecast highs for today look like this. We're climbing into the middle 50s for the most part out there, give or take a degree or two. And winds are going to change to the northwesterly direction as we head throughout the day. Uh, this as a weak and dry cold front moves across the area and really the only difference is the change in the wind direction, but when you have winds out of the northwest, we're going to reinforce some cooler air across the area and temperatures are going to stay below average as we head into your day today. So tomorrow morning is going to be a freeze for us across the area, but the coldest morning of the next seven is going to be Friday morning. So here's a look at the Friday morning low temperatures. We're dropping down to the middle and upper 20s to start your day on Friday. That is going to be downright cold for us and could potentially be the coldest morning of the year, or at least a tie of the coldest morning. Uh, for Tyler, that was 28 degrees, which was set back in January uh, of this year. Uh, again, several months ago, of course, at this point, but uh, again, still in 2023 here for the next few days, and it looks like we'll be rivaling our coldest morning of the year. Speaking of the new year, though, here's a look at your New Year's Eve forecast. We're actually going to get a cold front moving through during the overnight hours. So temperatures will drop relatively quickly uh, despite a warm day uh, for New Year's Eve. But by 8 p.m. New Year's Eve, temperatures are down into the upper 40s. Can't roll out a few showers and some warmer temperatures out in deep east Texas, but we'll be chilly area wide by the time we ring in the new year. 41 degrees at midnight under partly cloudy skies. Your seven day forecast looks like this. We are going to stay dry here for the next several days. Cool this week, but we are warming into the weekend. We'll climb to the mid 60s for highs by the last day of the year. So very fitting to end a warm year with above average temperatures, but we didn't see a big cool down heading into Monday and Tuesday. So 2024 starts on the chilly side. Your seven day forecast for DP Texas looks like more of the same, although you can't rule out some night showers Sunday into Monday and then showers again late in the day on Tuesday.